<laughs> All right, Ryder loves it when mommy tickles him like that, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Almost as much as I love tickling him. Hmm. And I do love it. Everything about this. I love being family. Have a little nap there, Mrs. Wentworth? You have a nice dream? Bobby. What's wrong? Tess. That's what's wrong. You were talking in your sleep. What did I say? I can really tell. It was kind of mumbly. But it must have been some dream. It was a nightmare. Didn't sound that way to me. Well, I'm wide awake now. Uh-huh. What's the matter? Are you worried that Brody and Ford are going to come and crash our honeymoon? I don't see them. Well, then why don't you come to bed? Let's make this more than a marriage of convenience. Too damn bad. I'm so glad you were here. Brody. I didn't mean to startle you. No, don't worry about it. What, what, what's wrong? Tess married Cutter Wentworth. I was picking up my phone to have Tess committed when she clocked me over the head. Are you okay? I'm fine. There was nothing compared to what happened next. Why? What happened? You're gonna love this. She went straight over to Cutter Wentworth's, had our marriage annulled, and married him. All in one night? You gotta be kidding me. What can I say? She works fast. God, I, I thought your Vegas wedding happened at warp speed. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, I mean, hey, anyway, at least you finally got rid of her, and all you had to do was surrender to put her away. It's not exactly bad news, right? You're free. Yeah, free. At least Tess won't be hitting on James all the time. I'll second that. All right, come on, Bobby. I, I know it sucks that you lost custody of Ryder, and I know you miss him. I do, too, but... I mean, you've got to be glad that she's somebody else's problem now, right? Bobby. I don't want to talk Wait, about it anymore. Whoa, whoa. Bobby, you didn't have feelings for Tess, did you? I don't think going to bed right now is the best idea. Really? I think it's brilliant. <laughs> for all I know, Brody and Ford are outside just waiting for the right moment to break the door in. Well, let them break it. It's not like those two idiots can send me to St. Anne's. No, only my dear, sweet, loving husband can get Jessica the help she desperately needs. Those two can't do a thing. You, on the other hand, you... I would <laughs> love to do quite a few things to you, but I don't want to get caught, literally, with my pants down. Really? Has nothing to do with the fact that you're still in love with Aubrey, does it? Listen, Tess, the reason that I'm not sleeping with you right now has nothing to do with Aubrey. Oh, of course not. And I'm sure you're not at all wondering what her reaction is going to be when she finds out that I'm your lawfully wedded wife. <clears throat> I'm assuming it will be similar to my reaction when I found out that her and Joey got custody of your kid. Jessica's kid, not mine. She's supposed to be in and out, smash and grab. No, she's been married to him for months now. Oh. I'm sure she doesn't have any real feelings for Joey. You're supposed to be helping me rob his family, not start one with him. That was never part of the plan. I'm You're still in love with Aubrey. So, when she wanted to get custody of Jessica's kid with Joey, you got your hurt on. Oh my God! Who knew a cold-hearted con man could be such a softy? You don't know what you're talking about. Come on. We both know that you rushed me to the altar just so you could stick it. Mrs. Joey Buchanan. So what if I did marry you to get a rise out of Aubrey? You only married me to stick it to Ford. How can I have feelings for Tess? She's... Mm, she's impossible! Yeah, not to mention she ruined your chances with you and Langston. Exactly. Now I've lost Langston and my son because of her. S so what then? You're, you're upset about Cutter and Tess? Joey said that he'd give Ryder back to me if I had Tess committed. Okay. But since I'm not her husband anymore, I can't really do that now, can I? That's why I'm upset, because I lost my leverage. Not because of whatever you oh, said. Oh, okay, okay. But, but Joey and his wife only have temporary custody. You're Ryder's biological father, plus you're good at it. 
You know, actually, actually, your chances of getting Ryder back now are better without Tess around. Okay, all right. Bobby, come on, man. She clocked you in the back of the head. You were gonna have her locked up. You couldn't stand her. Okay, yes. Tess is nuts. She's, she's obnoxious. She's the most obnoxious, most in-your-face person I've ever met in my entire life. No woman I've ever been with has known exactly what buttons to push. And believe me, she loved pushing them. So you won't miss her? No. I... I miss my son. I haven't seen him all day, and I, I feel like it's been a year. And, and being around here isn't helping me at all. Ford. Joey, hi. Would you come in, my sister? No, I haven't put Tessa away. Why not? Because we're not married anymore. She had it annulled last night. Really? Well, see, that's great news. Now my parents can commit Tess to St. Anne's. No, it's not that simple. Well, why not? Oh, God, don't tell me that Tess just took off. No, she's still around. In fact, she's with her new husband. Ford! Ugh. Please, can't stand that guy. Yeah, right. I saw how worried you looked when you thought you killed him. I was worried that he was still alive. You called to check up on to him. To make sure he was dead. Right. So that you wouldn't have to feel anything for him. Uh, hello? The guy wants to have me locked up. He wants me to disappear so Jessica can come back. Look, I don't care why you married me, just like you don't care why I married you. And I'm sure you'll get Ford's attention, just like I know I'm gonna get Aubrey's. New husband? She married someone else already? You've gotta be kidding me. Who would marry her? Your brother. Ford's history. But you are here right now, all alone with your brand new wife, who's totally hot for you. And up until last night, you were pretty hot for me, too. Amazing how quick that thrill wore off. Must be some sort of record. I'm hot for you. Mm -hmm. Okay? I already told you. I don't think it's a good idea right now. Yeah, I know. And I don't care. What I do care about is if you're not going to put out for your wife, how are you going to make it up to me? What do you have in mind? We're broke. We're living in this skeevy motel room, and since you're still hurting over Aubrey, like you're hurting over let's before. find uh, some way to ease the pain. You're a con man and a thief. Find us somewhere better to live than this crap hole, and better than that rat hole that I had to live in with Ford and his brother. It's not with me. Jessica's so far gone. I mean, she's never been more lost to me. I'll get him. The little man here wanted to see his mom. Oh, hey. Here's my little boy. Yeah. There you go. Oh, come here. Is that new? Well, yeah, I saw it at Logan's. I couldn't resist. Hey, Natalie, about what happened before. I I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. Oh, yeah, no, me, me neither. Um, <laughs> it's like never even really happened. Yeah, absolutely. Never happened because it shouldn't have. Exactly. You love Jessica. I want her back more than I've ever wanted anything. And I know you want the life you were hoping for with John. Yeah. Well, I think it would take a miracle for John to come back to me, but at least you and my sister still have a chance. I hope so. You know, my, my grandpa always had a saying. Never bring a knife to a gunfight. If Tess tries to run, then you have to block her. But if she comes at you with both barrels, then you gotta fight her back with a cannon. I mean, you can't think of her as Jessica, and most importantly, you can't give up on her. Because you never know what's gonna happen. Now, sometimes, you have to do whatever it takes, even if it means breaking the rules. Uh, <laughs> We had a deal, okay? 
I don't tell Joey that Aubrey is a bonded to your Claude, and in return, I get half the Buchanan money that she's supposed to steal. I remember the deal. Uh, really? What about Aubrey? Because uh, it sure as hell doesn't look like she's stealing money. It looks like she's playing mommy dearest with her new hubby, and Joey is uh, going to gun you down with the rest of the Buchanans. Literally, since we got married. You are Buchanan enemy number one. And I'm a close second, okay? Everybody hates us, so what are you going to do about it? I got it covered. How? Haven't you ever heard of Plan B? What the hell is your brother doing? All right, why would he just go and marry I Tess? I have no idea. Look, I'm sorry about all this. Yeah, right. No, I am. I told you, right after you left, I had the phone in my hand. I was ready to commit her to St. Anne's. When all of a sudden, she clocked me over the head and went off to see Cutter. Now, I don't know how he did it, but somehow he got our marriage annulled and married her. Excuse me, I need, I'll give my brother a call. Uh, so, how's Ryder? Actually, he had a pretty rough night. You know, I think he misses you. Is he okay now? Yeah, he's fine. Okay, actually, he's pretty great. Maybe, maybe it would be possible if I could see him for a minute. Listen, Ford. Honestly, don't think that's going to make things any easier. Please. Look, I, I know you don't owe me anything. And I, I didn't do right by your sister. Mm -hmm. I apologize for that. That's my boy in there. Please. Plan B. Aubrey blew it. She's been wasting time for months and come up with nothing. So what, are you going to cut her out of the equation? Like she did me when she took in that kid and got all cozy with Joey. I'm going out. Uh, where? Get things rolling, get us some money. And how are you going to do that? <whistles> Aw, look, it's Aubrey. Pick up. Tell her how you found yourself a new wife. I want her to hear it in person. You afraid to pick up? Well, you should be. What the hell is going on? You married Tess? What are you thinking? Call me back now. <coughs> My brother's not picking up. Yeah. Ford was hoping to, uh, to see Ryder. <laughs> and I don't see any harm in it. Just for a minute. You really do care about him, don't you? <laughs> Nicole. There he is. It's okay. There's my boy. Oh, I missed you too. I missed you too. I guess the word is out. Aubrey just gave me an earful. Ah, so you're gonna run over there so she can beg your forgiveness? I'll be back soon. Lock the door. Don't let anybody in. Well, who would I let in? Oh, you know who. Ford. Uh, not if he was the last man on Earth. Okay. Ford. Ford, I think it's time. All right, the longer you stay, the harder it's going to be on Ryder. Hey. I love you, okay? Don't you forget it. <laughs> I'm gonna come visit you a lot, okay? Hey, Ryder. Oh, sleep. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Go down. Oh, sleep. Um, it looks like my son's in great hands. Thank you for that. No problem. to see my son. Now I miss him more than ever. We don't want any. Too bad. What the hell do you want, anyway? You're under arrest. 